All right, Sightliners, and welcome back to the channel. Friday afternoon, or well, not quite afternoon yet, and we're on the beach. And again, this Friday, we've come off the island. So we've travelled the, to the same peninsula again, and this time, like I said, we're on the beach and we're here at Pukeli, with the main objective being Black Bream. I say we're here because down the beach over this way, Adrian, there. Sam is over there. Sam is Adrian's son and Nicola sitting down in the chair over there. We can't just see her head. And then winding in over here, that's Len. That's, that's uh, Adrian's dad. So three generations of the Roberts family are here today. Len has had a small knock earlier. We'll see now what's happening. So, like I said, we are targeting black bream today. So the, uh, the tactics are, for me today, three hook flappers with floating beads. And uh, I'll show you a little later on how one of those was made. So what's not about to dig with? Fish on, lad. We eat or no? Aye. Oh, that's not good if it's loop between. Right, tight liners. So, so far, no bites on the scratching rigs for the bream rigs so what i'm going to do now is single sand deal on my usual up and overs with the triton stuff i'm going to hammer this one out because this beach is known for uh, rays also a few huss have also been caught off this beach and, well there's also a very outside chance of a turbot so let's get this one out there and find out what happens. No more could be. There's Nicola with the first fish. <laughs> a little corkwind ras. <laughs> but a fish is a fish. Taste and Nicola is off the mark. First to catch. Again. Yeah, for the on my one. Hey, for one. Right, still no bites, guys. Other than Nicola's uh, corkwind rass. Like I said earlier, the rigs I'm using three hook clip down, and they have the uh, floating bead on it. This is how I make them. Okay, guys. In today's session, we're using a three hook. Uh, clip down looking for bream on the beach. So this is how I go about doing it. I have my 60 pound rig body which is going from well just beyond my shoulder. I got my Gemini bait clip at the bottom. Just the usual few twists and in through the bottom. Get hold of it properly. And pull. Like that. Right, next thing is to start feeding some of the stuff on. So, I've got crimp. Let's get hold of it properly. Crimp, bead, bead, and then a cascade swivel. Now, you, that's your cascade swivel, if you haven't seen one before, where it's got a built in clip down on it. Always put it in through that end first. So, what you have is you've got your bait clip showing there. 
drop that down another bead followed by another crimp just let that sit down the bottom there like that no problem right then for your second hook another crimp bead second cascade Another bead, and another crimp. Followed by another crimp, yeah, and a bead. by a little swivel another bead get in there and another crimp Then another swivel so it goes and attaches onto your main line. Right. And clip tag ends off both ends. And then what I'm going to do is I hang it onto my hook right here. This is the way I do it. There might be other ways of doing it, but this is the way I seem to get my. Then I've to help me to get some tension on the line I attach the lead now then I'm not going to clip anything down just yet I'm going to use Amnesia 12 pound line clear as my hook length and I'm going to do the bottom one first and like I said it's not clipped in yet or not crimped so I find the bottom cascade Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. With the final lines, this is a twelve pound test. I like to have just a few more twists. Try and help that down to there. Right, so the reason why I haven't clipped it, uh, crimped it in place first is that I want to measure that. So I'm going to take it down to the bottom of my the disc on the bait clip from there, and I'm going to cut it there. Feed one of my a um, Tronics Pro floating bead.
and what I'm going to put on as the hook is a size 8 Canasan B68 B983 Right, hook on Like I said, I like a few more twists than I would do with thicker line And just to give it a bit extra glow in the water, some Sea Glow Silicone Attractor. This is quite stiff on there, that will stop the bait from flying up as well. So the, the bait on there, probably not much bigger than that. A worm, maybe a strip of squid. Anyway, so now I'm going to uh, clip it in to the bottom of here. And from there now I'm going to take the first of the crimps up until it's tight. And now I'm going to lock it in place. by there and lock that in place on the top as well now I'm going to repeat the process on the second hook and then obviously the third hook as well keeping that linked into the bottom over there Tag end off. And what I'm going to do is just have a quick look. I think it's about that length. This one won't be quite as long as the bottom one. Fairly long. Again, the floating bead. I want that to go through there. There it goes. Size eight hook. Canisan size eight. There. Go down. Cut that off. Extra attractor. 
with these they're just simple they just hook on as if you're putting a bait on pull them through to there now as with the first one clip it into the bait clip and I go up until it's tight get my pliers ready as tight and crimp it into place remembering not to squeeze too tight so that you damage the main line the big body like that same again cut the top hook The reason why we have them with slightly longer snoods on these kind of rigs is that you want the bait to be flowing in the tide. Floating bead. And my hook. Put in there. Tag ends off there and there. The extra attractor. to that one and take it up until it's tight don't twist it on my finger <laughs> when it's tight squeeze it into place There we have the three hook clip down with the attractors and the floating beads ready for bream on the beach. So hopefully what will happen is when it's cast in, hits the water, it does that and it all is supposed to just come and done like that. Beads will lift the baits up a bit off the bottom like that. Right, so the way it's playing at the moment I've got two rods out there with my uh, ragworm tipped with uh, squid. I've got a sand deal bait out. I've got another one now I've just cast about 30 meters offshore with a three hook flapper all ragworm size two hooks and now another one I'm thinking of is I saw these like shrimp type uh, lures in Winnie's Worms. So I've tipped them with a little bit of mackerel, bit of squid, some with the worm. I'm just gonna put them in and just drop them back in and see if I can get anything on them. Can't do any worse at the moment.
Norman Fiddick. And first fish for Len and target species achieved. Yeah, thankfully. Black Bream. Black Bream, yeah. Fast on you. Yeah, it was on rag and squid cocktail. Yeah. Whoa. There we go, guys. Fish for Len. There we are. Little Black Bream. This is That's what we it. came all the way to Pacelli for. Yeah, first one for a long time. Yeah. Right, I'll let you go, yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll say about that, Guys, that's encouraging to see. First of the bream to arrive. Hopefully there'll be a few more. Usually where there's one, there's a few more. Let's hope so. No, no critic. Well, guys, to say this is poor would be an understatement. Two fish between the five of us. We're all fishing two rods. I'm fishing five rods. <laughs> um, very, very poor. Um, the plan was to fish from about midday, two hours up to high and then two hours down. Well, it's coming up to three o'clock now, so I'm saying possibly about another hour and then we'll be on our way. And if it carries on like this, it'll be a uh, mission fail. Very disappointing. Anyway, the nurse is my Scott I'm in. That's how fishing goes. <laughs> like a normal fitting. Right, Adrian has lost a couple of hooks, snapped through, and obviously he suspected there was spider crab. Well, that suspicion now has uh, yeah, okay, just been proven. Size on that one, guys. That's a big old spider crab. All the action we're getting. Not much else happening. I'm not even getting that key. <laughs> <laughs> Sizing the claws on that. Plenty of meat in there, but uh, neither of us can be bothered. Now, nah, going back. <laughs> going back. <laughs> Normal cutting. Well, guys, that's the end of a session. A thoroughly disappointing session. Two fish between the five of us. How many rods? Uh, we all had at least two rods in the water at every time, sometimes three. I had five guys at one time. Um, anyway, one bream was caught. Thankfully, we've seen one. Yeah. But uh, anyway, that's we'll fishing. have to plan. That's yeah. fishing. That's and we'll fishing. plan something for another time. Oh, we'll be back again. We'll try. Yeah. Hopefully, with better results. So, yeah. conditions are spot on. Tides are good. Water was clear. It just went there. Yeah. So, until the next time, guys. Keep your lines tight. Keep your lines tight. tight.